I am outside on deck six of the Norwegian Sky cruise ship, forward, going towards the aft. One of the great things about this ship is that you have this wraparound deck. It provides a nice quiet outdoor space. You can jog here for most of the day. And it's a good place to get away from the crowds. Going inside, At the very front of the ship, you have the main showroom. I think they just got done playing bingo in here, but they have stage shows at night, individual seating, and bar service. It's also two deck. There are the stairs up. Going towards the back. The door immediately to my right now is the one through which we embarked several days ago. And you come in and you go through the photo galleries. This has only been set up over the last day or so. We've been at sea for a couple of days now. Bringing by the professional photos as well as all the accoutrements you need to take your own photos. This ship also does an unusually good job of maintaining a library. There are quite a few books and as far as I can tell, there's no system for actually checking them out. There's also some meeting rooms in the back. I'm not going to go in there now because they're having meetings, but they're a fairly standard configurable space, which I will show in some of my written posts. We're coming up on Captain Cook's bar. That's where they had luggage storage on the first day before the rooms opened. I believe they're doing some Chinese language lessons for children, which is a cool cultural enrichment experience. I haven't had the chance to actually sit at this bar, but it is a nice, solid indoor space. Okay, one more time. Okay, and uh, last one. I want to ask because today, Fourth of July, everybody happy, right? So I wish I had the chance to sit there. We're now about to enter Dazzle's Cabaret, but before we do that. Notice that that's the door to Le Bistro. It's actually located on the fifth floor, but to access it, you have to come in here on the sixth floor and walk down. Here in Dazzle's nightclub, I'm sure they do some nightclub things, but most of what they do use it for is various promotions and shows. When I walked through here earlier, they were using it so that people could learn more about emeralds and art and the other various things that they sell on board. Because it is a cruise ship, of course, they have a bar. That bar is located right over there. It's shut right now. Configurable individual seating as well as the stage area. Continuing to go back, you see part of the atrium area that we'd seen earlier. And one of the things, when we were touring Deck 5, one of the things I really like about this ship is it's hard to get lost because there are deck maps almost everywhere to tell you what is on each deck. One of the weird things about this ship and how it's configured is that there's a Deck 6A, so there are some room, state rooms where you have to go through a half rise of stairs to get to them. Continuing forward, your internet cafe, where you can buy internet packages, which you can also do online, as well as four workstations if you don't have your own computer. They have the watch shop, which is similar to the watch shop on pretty much every other ship, and your Colombian Emeralds store. Going forward, there are just staircases into the rooms, and well, it's a great seating area. There's no bar immediately next to it, but it is a great place to sit. Looking down now into the atrium, Deck 6 is again one of the main indoor passenger thoroughfares here. If you want to see more about the Norwegian Sky or other cruise ships or other travel adventures, we'd appreciate if you would follow us on Dine, Drink, Travel. You can find us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, as well as our webpage, www.dinedrinktravel.com. Thanks very much and happy travels.